All right, let's get to business. Let's, yes. Nothing says business like an air horn and a shotgun. That's right. That's right. Um, how are we doing, David Collins? Good, man. Got some bummer news. What? Um, the rec room, Huntington Beach, the rec room comedy club in Huntington Beach is permanently closing. Oh, that's too bad. I like that. I had, I was headlining, I have a headlining date there May 11th, but they're closing on April 1st, so. Is it, why, is it even that fun zone place leaving too? All of it, all of it's going, they're getting rid of it. Apparently I heard that they're, they're leveling the place to put up, uh, condos and shit. Mm. Put up a parking lot, pay paradise, put up a park, oh, it always in a go. You don't know what you got to live down. Put up a pocket, put us a socket lot. Oh my God. I'm really, I have to look up the lyrics. Oh, it's, Sheesh. They paved paradise mm -hmm. and put up a parking lot. Paradise and they paved up a parking lot. Nope. <laughs> no. Almost. Oh, they know it in the go. You want to do a podcast, David? Yeah, let's do let's it. Let's do it. Unidentical. 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 Hey everybody, welcome back to Unidentical Pod with me, Jason <laughs> Collings, and the amazingly beautiful, gorgeous, handsome David Collings, hey, that's me. and Solo Man, super producer Solo Man, here at the podcast place in Long Beach, California. We are here. Uh, hey guys, if you want a quality podcast, get it done here. Podcast place. Get her done. Here. Get her done here. Podcastplace.com. Is that what we're calling? It? Is that what it is? Yes. Not the podcast place. Correct. Podcast place. Correct. Punto punto com. Think podcast. C -C -C -C. Podcast That's highway. You do the horn. Podcast. C C C C C C C. Wow, you got fired. Please make sure to continue to rate and review at Apple Podcasts, iHeart, Spotify, wherever it is that you download your podcast. Leave us a five star rating. Leave us a review. It helps with the algorithms. Um, if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure that you like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you know when a new episode's coming at you, when a new short's coming at you, when a new anything's coming at you. And as always, one-stop shop, everything Unidentical Pod. Go to unidenticalpod.com. That is unidenticalpod.com for everything podcast. For everything I don't do. I love how they go, I love how they do that thing. I can't do it. Please go to... Identical pod for everything. Yeah. Everything you need on identical is there at the biblical. Identical pod. <laughs> um, let's see. I got some shows coming up, kids. Uh, as I said earlier, um, May 11th in Huntington Beach canceled. If you already bought tickets, they will reimburse you. Don't you fret and don't you frown. Turn that uh, smile upside frown down. Upside. Sure. We're rappers, man. Yeah, but I'm a bad rapper. No, I don't think so, man. I'm, I'm the, the it, dyslexic rap. rapper. <laughs> <laughs> and wait, you guys both produced rap music at one point. All right. I, I never did it. Yeah, I never did any vocals or anything like that. We're very behind yeah. the scenes. My name is Jay. I'm here to say oh a funky fat rap for every day. Arra, arra, arra. <laughs> that's like, that's old school hip hop. That's, that's Grandmaster Melly <laughs> Mal in the Fury Five. Arra. He liked to bark. That's great grand hip hop right yep. there. Yep. Well, now the term old school is even old school. So oh, yeah. You can't say old school. What do you say now? What's. How do you say for ancient know. school? Legacy. Legacy. <laughs> like <right>. software. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, that is crazy that old school doesn't. Jeez. And you listen yeah. to K Earth 101 now? It's all music from when we were kids. Yeah. That's how you know. Nuts. We're old. K Earth 101. We're old. We are. We're, we're getting up there. We're very old. Yeah. I right. want to know what David has coming up. Yeah. What do you have coming up, David? <laughs> while we're waiting on Jason. Anything I have coming up is. Things that I can do at home or at Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> if there's going to be anything, any kind of me traveling anywhere, it's once we kick off this guy's Jenner. tour and then I'm, I'm involved in that more. It's no more fun. It's not fun anymore working at Starbucks. So they took out all the plugs, right? So like yeah. you can't. You right. just, oh, yeah. I thought you meant like working there. No, no, I no. I mean like doing work there. Like, I see. Yeah. Unless you're talking about actually working at Starbucks. No. no oh, okay. I was just saying. Yeah. You wouldn't do that? No, these people I make just, good money. The management, they make yeah, six figures, and nah, they have good. It's a good, cult. Yeah, but I, I would screw everything up. It's, it a, would, it's very culty. Our buddy Sam Hershgold, he worked at uh, Lazy Dog Cafe. Yeah, and he said it's very much of a cult. Everything yeah. the Lazy Dog way. I couldn't do the whole when they say the funny names of drinks either. I couldn't hold back. Um, All right, buddy. <laughs> could you do the uh, <laughs> what, like, what, like what say name? say some of those? What are some Starbucks? Some of those goofy drinks that people uh, say sound funny. Uh, Caramel macchiato. Like their drink is a paragraph. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's I, my drink's a paragraph. Mine yeah. is too, actually. What is yours? Let's see if I can do it. Um, 
uh, grande latte, ristretto, quad, um, oh. oat with oat milk, uh, hot. <laughs> What's a quad? Quad you, means four shots. God, dork. Just uh, say four shots. No, Mine's a um, uh, 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 venti iced sugar-free vanilla latte made with Breve. I get that when I go to Starbucks, but that I don't... It, Honestly, the iced coffee that I make myself at home, I think it's way better than Starbucks. Really? I prefer it any time over Starbucks. Yeah. Maybe you should open your own coffee spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should put a line outside your house. What would yeah, we call it? What would we call my coffee shop? Go. Dave's Coffee. Yeah, right. So simple. Sometimes open. You know what, dude? <laughs> you actually do have that name that's perfect like for a diner or a oh, yeah. small yeah. business. Dave's Diner. Dave's Coffee. Well, the, I'm in the middle. Dave's of, Dildos. I'm in the middle of a huge lawsuit with the chicken guy. Oh, with Dave's Hot Chicken? <laughs> he used my name for his hot chicken. Oh, yeah. Your That's name is right. so unique. That's right. There's a Dave's Hot Dogs, I think, right down the street, or Dave's Burgers or something. Yes. Oh, you should go check it. Yeah. Okay. So back to me. Um, Tuesday, April 23rd, Brent Morin and I will be performing a show of comedy at the Irvine Improv in Irvine, California. Bimo and Jacob. Yes, yes, back yes. Um, An exhibition yeah, of I got some shows coming up, too, with Brian Callen. I can't remember. I'm doing a show at The Crow, May 28th, I believe it is. The Crow in Santa Monica. It's a cool venue. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? Any travel? Mm -hmm. Nothing. No Nothing travel right. dates as of yet. Working on a, um Ireland run. Oh, yeah. Gonna work, I'm working on um, off my, my great friend in the UK, Emma. Hi, Emma Barr. Working on coming out to the UK to do some stand-up comedy. I've got a meeting later this week about that. So stuff's happening. And of course, locally, I'm always at the Comedy Store. I'm always at the Laugh Factory. And I'm always at the Improv. So look out for that, Jack. Right. So Say UK, United Kingdom. Oh. Britain. Do they still Great call it Britain. Great Britain? England. Yeah. They have a lot of names. Yeah. What's Brexit? Brexit? Mm -hmm. That is the whole thing where they were going to... Um, leave from the European Union and have so their the, own so like the currency. U so Britain, the UK, United yeah. Kingdom will, yeah. wouldn't would be its own it wouldn't be part of Europe? Is that what they're saying? No, uh no, it would just not be part of the European Union, I believe. Right. And I think it's just it's something with their own currency. I can look it up. Let me explain specific. something to you guys right so now. So it's just the mashup of, of I'm Britain dumb. and exit. I'm Brexit. dumb. Brexit. Sounds like a brand of crackers. I'm dumb because I don't know what the difference between the Europe and the European Union is. Uh, I'm a dummy. Continent. The European Union is sort of like an agreement with all the countries in Europe to share a currency right. and That's share right. some commonalities. That's right. That's sort right. of like you know the states of the United States, but with countries. And that lovely, gotcha. it's lovely, and it's right. I can talk like them. Yeah, go there. I still laugh at roadmen. I I, I can't at what? stop laughing. The whole the roadmen thing. What's that? You know the the gangsters. Uh, you guys were the ones who brought it up. I, I probably thought. did. You yeah. mean the, the, the British gangster guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, how do they, what, what the way they talk? I mean, it's just the whole thing of like, yeah, these guys with British accents being gangsters. I just can't. Oh, well, here's the thing, though. It, it, that's okay. So for some reason, Americans are 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 fascinated with accents. Yeah. That and they and for some reason they've categorized the British accent, which is like ours. A lot of people don't realize we have like how many different accents in America. A lot. We have ours. We have you know Southern. You have you know New England accents. They're Not all as different. Boston as before. Mexico. Right. Yeah, in a TV and the internet. Accent. Well, that's but. a Mexico. That's a different country. <gasps> but um, they have that as well. But for some reason in America, you put you know a British accent to Americans, it signifies intelligence and like well this guy knows what he's talking about. No, that's why it cracks me up when you see commercials uh -huh. where they put eyeglasses. And a British accent on an owl. And everybody goes, that's the smartest owl in the world. <laughs> that's so you know true. what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you can start to tell like the difference, like that one, I can't do it, the Cockney accent or whatever. Right. Like, doesn't, yeah, yeah. You don't think yeah. intelligence when you hear that. Right, no. But yeah. when you hear that royal British thing, that's yeah. what you think. Oh, yeah. classic. Well, the, right? the royal, as, and, and as more high society, I, I, I've noticed that you get in there, the accent's not as thick as like, Ally, ally. Right. They don't, right. They don't really talk like that. Yeah. It's very subtle. Right. Very subtle. It's very, very subtle. Very subtle. Yeah. And there yes. are some that are so deep <laughs> where you guys, yeah. what? What did you say? Ah, right. so. None of them can say R, though. No, mm. R is in, ah. It's just, you know what I used to crack up? My friend, uh, Brian, who's, who grew up in Ireland, he, when he first, you hear people with an accent and they would say the, they would say the word laugh, laugh. Off. They would say the taco, taco. 
you know why can't they just switch the two a's and say laugh yeah and laugh taco. is laugh and taco is taco yeah <laughs> bad bad math well my wife is just heavy into the royals the series okay she's just gotten into the the 1960s where she got she's she was watching the episode where um um what's his name prime minister back in the day he was always on the queen mary what's the guy's name sir winston churchill churchill passed away and so yeah they're watching that and she'll, she's so into that and i'm and i'm kind of watching but it's funny because as she's watching that i'm in the other room i'm watching the new documentary about prince philip is it philip prince andrew that was buddies with uh you gotta remind me who's who here the ones that's buddy that was buddies with epstein okay all right oh, that's man. prince andrew right i don't know yeah, he's he's uh, he is uh, he oh. he's a player, dude. He was. See now in our culture now he's so cancelable because he just had so much fun. Yeah, you know he's what I mean. But he man. was. They called him. That's what it is. It is Andrew because in the press they called him Randy Andy. Oh, he's Randy because he was very flirtatious. If he was on a show, Randy he, Andy, <laughs> if he was on a yeah, if he was on a TV show and the and the and the presenter was a, an attractive woman the uh, the interview was always off the rails because he was just like looking her up and down going i don't know what you want to do with me later he was just yeah, like right, so right. yeah such a randy andy dude oh, yeah. man. and he's he's been a bachelor forever but he was andy. and then he had and then he was with uh 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 he was with this actor her name was actress her name was uh she had a weird name like uh cuckoo or something i can't remember her name. cuckoo but she was a very beautiful actress and they the, and the family wouldn't let them be married because she came out in movies nude and stuff like that so oh. then he finds fergie ferguson princess fergs who, princess fergs of i thought actually i confused on who's with who who which one is the king now that's uh charles king charles i'm confused on why they even have all that if they have like government it, like, i don't understand what's no what idea. do they do? Like no idea. Look at them. They're Look ceremonial, right? But but they don't like the people pay all their or do they have riches that are theirs and well or are they, how does that work? It's interesting because on this because they're in a castle and all that. Like I don't know. We don't have that shit here. I don't know what that. Yeah, we do. It's called the White House or Disneyland. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, what if the what if the Disney that's, characters? Is that the country's most famous castle? Seriously, yeah, yeah. It's the only castles we got, right? There's several of them. Hearst Castle. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting because there was one part in the documentary where they were talking about Andrew doesn't have a lot of money. He gets an allowance from his mom, who's okay. not she, no longer her, but she would give him an allowance. Mm -hmm. And in this in in the in the scheme of things, in the big picture, it wasn't a lot of money. It was about two hundred and fifty thousand pounds a year or something like that. Yeah, which that's how more than I, that's more than dollars. But it, it, but his lifestyle was that of a guy who was a billionaire. Like he was always on a private jet. He was always in race cars. He liked racing cars and all that stuff. But he was. Man, that's he was, my question. That, that's see, that's one of my questions. Who 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 are those planes and car? Who do those belong to? They do they belong to these royal people? No idea. Uh, I, I'm confused. Well, on why I guess do they have I guess all, all I can really say is the the monarchy is built into. British culture from the right. beginning, because before yeah. back when it was, it did yeah. have power and did and they have were the ruling all that. people, they were the right. ruling party or whatever you'd call it, right. yeah, you know. And um, but it's pretty interesting, man, the stories and stuff because they were uh, first of all, Prince Prince Randy Andy, man, he he got his fuck on a lot, mm -hmm. and he was he was always just getting out. like the, the the press really shit on on Fer what happened with him and his and Fergie, the redhead, the gin he was married to is that he was he was in the he was still in the royal air force i believe it was the air force so he'd be gone on he would be gone all the time like she would jokingly say i see him maybe 45 days out of the year or something like that and uh while he was away she was caught on camera getting cup, comfy and cozy with this other guy having an affair and they were he was like sucking on her toes and shit and the kids were there oh, and then what? and then the, the press went in on her horrible mom this and this and that when in, apparently the entire time, Andrew had like concubines and all this. That was just how it was. Yeah. Wow. And then, um, then he became buddies with, uh, with the old F Epstein guy. With, mm. uh, with uh, what's his first name? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jeffrey Epstein. What a, he, looked, he looked like a fucking potato. He looked like his face like a squished potato <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Apparently his dick looked like that too. 
Yeah. Or his penis. That's what, you know, they called him Mr. Potato Dick. But, oh, really? No. Oh, I just made that up. Made it up right here. Shut up. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he just became like buddies with this guy and brought him and his girl, Jelaine Max Maxwell, around to all the events where they're wearing top hats and suits and looking stupid. And um, uh, then, he, then all this stuff went down about Epstein. And, like, apparently Epstein gave Fergie a bunch of money to help her get out of debt. Mm. And then she had to publicly apologize for taking the money. Did she mm. give it back? Hell no, she didn't give it back. Sorry, sorry, a pedo gave me the money to pay my credit cards off. A pedo. See, that is not an intelligent accent. Sure, it is. At least not from the sure. American. Yeah. No. Perception. But do they even call credit card? Because they have different names for stuff over there. They always have <laughs> funny names. <laughs> what for do sure. they call credit cards? You think? I don't know. Shopping plastic. I don't know. Yeah. What do you? What would you, what? you know, it's funny. We always make fun of the way they say things, but if you always, if you think about, it, they say it better than us. They yes, say it more right. correctly than us. I, I adopted one word. Uh, instead that? of calling my phone my cell phone, let's call it my mobile. My mobile. Yeah. Oh, you are so upscaled, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are. Mobile. You yeah. are fancy. <laughs> Solomon's fancy. I'm going to give you a call later on your mobile. I remember. I, yes, I, I, please I, do. I dated a girl in high school who was from uh, uh, Coventry, I think. And she, Where? Where? Coventry, England. I don't think you're saying that correctly. Coventry. You have to say it like <laughs> I think that's how you go. <laughs> Oh, so anyway, my ex girlfriend, she was from Coventry. And, oh. yeah, no, but she would say funny things. We would be watching TV, and she one time she told me to turn the television over. And I'm over. like, that's like a furniture TV. That thing's huge. Yeah. Why do you want it over? <laughs> and she meant just change the channel. She would tell me to wind the window in the car. What do you oh, that was funny. Well, yeah, that, well, that was rolled up the window. Yeah. It's like our old thing, too. Yeah. Windscreen. Sort of windshield. Yeah. And the, and the trunk was the boot. The boot. The hood is the bonnet. Yeah. Yeah. Very effeminate culture. Yeah. Not right. well. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> You're just insulting the whole country. Now. They're very <laughs> effeminate. <laughs> and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but they're all in the little dresses and the yeah. hall and the things and the bonnets. Going to the store, we better get a show. Well, well, keep in mind, though, our perception of, of the whole country is what we see on TV. So, yeah. I got to get know. over there. So yeah. I can see the but like I said, they use the real stuff. They like, we call strollers strollers, they call them prams. Pramambulators. Oh, uh, pram. See, when I think of a mobile, mobile, I think of the thing that hang o hung over their children's yeah, cribs. Yeah, mobile. Yeah, because you're dumb. Because it's. I mean, you're right. You know what would Jeez. be? You know what would make you so much smarter? But a British accent. Really? Yep. Oh, <laughs> no, okay. not that one. <laughs> really? Really? I'm not good. I'm not smart enough to have one. <laughs> you sound like one of the Spice Girls, right there. Oh, really? Spice uh, Girls. That's it. That's. I'm a, I'm a sporty, sporty Spice. So yeah, the royal though. But back to the royal. Sorry, I didn't mean to get on. A They're crazy. No, here's the thing though. I don't. I still don't understand how it works. Like, and a lot know. of the people apparently in that country are the same way. They're like, get rid of these. This we don't need this. They yeah, a, it's they, it's purely ceremonial. Mm. But, but, do the but people, people pay for stuff for them. Are there is is, is well, things that they have? The taxpayers' money the go cash. into it. Yeah, I mean it's entrenched in the government. So I imagine a good amount of the tax money goes just, for it's that. It's just tradition yeah. at this point. Yeah, it is. There's, they don't hold any sort of office or have any sort right, of authority no. over anything. No, but if the queen speaks, though. But wait a listen. minute. No, actually, they have they have assignments like Andrew, Randy, Andy. He's in charge of like transportation or something. I can't remember what it was. He had a. His gig, if you looked that up. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll look at it. They, they appointed him in charge of something. So they do have, I guess, responsibilities, but who knows how ceremonial that is, if it's real or not. Yeah. Emma, we, you got to help me out here. We got to go. We need to go over we there. We got to go over learn, there. Do the podcast over there. Do stand learn up. There. The learn ropes. about it. Yeah. Why do the pipe cleaner hat guys, why are they not allowed to move? The what, man? The guys with the the guys with the pipe. Oh, hats. those yeah. are the guards, the royal guards. Why they're the, not allowed to move? Or like they're, or why do people want to go up to them and like ah, yell in their oh, face to get reactions? Because why? most of those people are morons. Yeah, I've watched a lot of videos about that. They're no, my point. I get that. My point is, why aren't those guys allowed to go the fuck out of here? They why? kind of are because if you do it right across the line. Oh, right. In other words, if they're they'll, marching, yeah, they'll yell at you. Okay, why? Aren't, oh, I'm sorry, they're, they're British. They're British. Sorry, why aren't they allowed to go? Bugger off. Bugger off. No, yeah. they'll be like. But it's certain things that they say, like, don't touch the queen's god, or something oh, like or that. Or the I mean, horse. Yeah, or the horse. They go I, up to try I to saw... touch the horses, they'll, don't touch the horse. Everybody <laughs> freaks out. Yeah. Why do you sound like John Cleese when you say that? <laughs> we don't touch the horse. Who say? <laughs> Me. You just were John Cleese. Ah, it's a flesh wound. 
Well, John Cleese is actually one of my best. My best you friends. do know John Cleese. That's actually, true. we do know each other. Yeah. He's a really sweet man. Yeah, you do. Um, I never met him. I'm really close friends with his daughter. His daughter. Yeah, yeah, daughter Camilla. Yeah, she's cool. Camilla Cleese. Um, no, but they do. If they're marching and they do that long, that weird march that they do, and if you stand in front of them, they'll just barrel through you and go, move! It's pretty That's nuts. rad. I, yeah. I can, oh, man. You can look that up on YouTube. You could YouTube that. And oh, idiots, yeah. Man, these, yeah. These tourists. That's when I realized I saw these, a lot of these videos on YouTube. Tourists are idiots in every, there's idiot tourists in every country. Yeah. yeah. The people that think that they can go up and touch that man. Like, why yeah. do you think you could do that? Right. Yeah. yeah I saw yeah. a video yesterday where they were doing this, uh, um, uh, uh, what's her name from Star Wars? Uh, uh, Daisy. Um, Ridley. Rid what's her name? Ray. Ray. Right. The Ray character and Chewbacca were doing this thing for fans and kind of doing this thing. Uh, and, and this woman, this moronic woman, walks up behind Chewbacca and goes to his head and then walks away like, uh, look what I just did. Yeah. And you know what the, the woman playing Ray did? What? She's like, all right, that's it. Cancel what they were doing. Said, sorry, she messed it up. And they left. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah. Morons. Mm. Morons are in every country. Would have been cool if Chewie mauled her, though. Because they do, you know, they'll rip your arms off. Yeah, Wookie, well, yeah. Wookie doesn't rip your arms there off. There he goes. Oh, yeah, look, these, oh, and do they? Oh, wait, oh, wait this is like this. A, oh, he pointed a gun at him. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, why would you do this? Up. He's got like a. You could fuck around in front of stupid. him. You could do whatever. But if you touch him, look at this moron. I like this. I like this. Get out of the way. But Get out of the way. But look at him. They're on a mission, dude. <laughs> now, watch. If he touches him. I would love if someone actually walked up behind him while I was swinging his arm and took a nut check. Can you imagine that? Walk up I too close see behind him. Hold on. He's, he touched him. See? He just goes, touched, and that's where you cross the line. Boom. Dang. But also good. Yeah. Next and, step, and that's tradition. shoot him. Yeah. It's like, shoot him. stop screwing around with these guys. They have a job to do. And they are guarding, they're guarding the, the palace. Yeah, they're, they're for real. Yeah, Mr. Bean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of weird past with them too. I'm learning from that Royals. They have one of them. I can't remember which one has connections to Hitler. No, no I'm kidding. Not, not, well, that guy had his yeah. mustache. That guard had the Hitler mustache. Yeah, got a bit of sad royal news. What's that? Today. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Princess yes. Kate, Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, announced that she's has has cancer. Damn. That's which, be, and I'm and and, the, and I'm and here's the thing. Before she announced it. There was all these conspiracy theories about her. She was no longer with us. She was no longer alive. Right. I saw some things. And, they, and that the royals were using body doubles mm. to, when they were out and about with her. And I'm thinking, that's weird. If she passed, why wouldn't they just say it? Turns out she had major abdominal heart surgery. Did I say it right? Yeah. I say abdominable all the time. She had major abominable snowman surgery. She had surgery. abominable snowman surgery. No, but she had ab abdominal surgery, major surgery. And during the surgery, they found that she has cancer. Wow. Oh, that's and too so bad. So today she's announced that she's now going to heal from the surgery. And once she's healed from the surgery, she's going to start her treatment, her chemotherapy treatment for the cancer, which is, in, which is a trip, which is because King Charles of Wales, mm. there she is. Isn't she pretty, though? Yeah, that's, She's her, lovely. that's her doing the video. She yeah. is a gorgeous woman. And then her, her uh, she has a sister named Pipe, Piper. Pippa? Yeah. Pipe. Pippa? Peppa? Pippa? I don't, yeah, I don't, don't Pippa, say. Peppa Middleton. Right. Her sister's Pippa. apparently I think a, it's a rapper from the late, early 90s. <laughs> yeah. What's up? I'm Pippa, my sister, and Kate. Anyways, that's her discussing it, but also no one has ever looked so good having cancer. I know, right? She's <laughs> six beautiful. But people were saying that there was a body double. I, I saw some picture of a, like, they were... They were debating a family photo of some kind where they were saying, oh, it's not her hand. And, and, and this or and like, I was like, it's like a droid about? or it's like an android of some sort. People look yeah. crazy. Do, the, do, do, do they give a shit about it over there as much as we do over here? Or? Oh, boy. Yeah. People over here are going nuts about it. See, what you know how you, if you've been to D.C. with me? Not with you, no. But so if you there. go to D.C., there's always people surrounding the White House mm -hmm. at the fence with, right, with right. banners and mm -hmm. cameras and the, it's the same thing at Buckingham, Buckingham Palace. Gotcha, right. People are always out there trying to get a, a, a look, a sneak look in, and, and, mm. and there's always people out there protesting and all this stuff. But, <clears throat> yeah, a lot of people were saying it was, a, it was a fake Kate. Wow. Fake Kate Middleton. Fake Kate Gate. And I'm like, I know that there are some presidents that did body, that did body doubles 
Dave. I know that there's Back a lot in the of day, yeah. Yeah. I, guess I don't know if you can get away with it today though. You no. ever see the movie Dave? It's gonna be you're gonna be hard pressed to find somebody that Dave? looks like Donald Trump. You ever saw that movie Dave? Sigourney Weaver was the first lady in, in, in the the What's oh that? yeah, yeah, yeah. He I died. I love Kevin Klein. Kevin Klein. Yeah, and he, he's the president and, died, and, and uh, yeah, and, and they found the double for him. That's a pretty good movie. Yeah, yeah but just like him. Imagine, imagine if Kate though, she's got okay, so she's got cancer. What kind? Don't know. I didn't ask her. We didn't get that far in the conversation. She just when we were talking about it, the, uh, her eyes, and I was just, we just kind of just went. <laughs> God, that's got to be a royal pain, huh? Ew. My favorite thing is when I say dumb things and I look missed over it. at Solo Man. <laughs> well, you missed three of mine. So. so you see me rolling my eyes. What was it? What was it? What was it? What did we miss? Yeah. I f- no, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> what did I say? I don't know. It, it was something dumb. Oh, no, I said it. What a royal pain. Sorry. <laughs> see, we- <laughs> That's oh. what we missed. Oh, wow. wow. That's why I forgot so quick. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yes. There we go. First time using that. Yeah. Is it over here? No, no, not yet. No, I just have. I, I reserve. Soon. I reserve a few for myself. Soon. That's the one I have. Yeah. So yeah, but, but she, yeah, but this, she didn't seem like she was in a lot of royal pain. She seemed to be really kind of holding well. They're together, very. Man. They're British. They're British. Stiff they're upper lip and all that. They're very. <laughs> right. The what? The stiff upper lip. Yeah, they're saying. very stoic, mm-hmm. and they're very well put together. She probably. I mean, she could have been in a diaper right there. We had no idea. <laughs> you know yeah. but i've always wanted to I've, I've always been fascinated with that whole culture culture it's very trippy because they have they have a government outside of that yeah and here uh here's here's something for you that i found. here's my problem here Ooh, what she finds so it says while the sovereign is the head of state the ability to make and pass legislation resides with an elected parliament so they're still the heads of state they just don't have any power okay what's the point well then, Tradition. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm the head of California then. Yep, you just don't have any power. Yeah. yeah. Monarchy is the oldest form of government in the United Kingdom. I'm the Duke of Long Beach. In a monarchy, a king, queen is head of state. The British monarchy is known as a constitutional monarchy. This means that they can't do shit while sovereigns got ability to make yeah. power. pass. Oh. Got it. But they play an important role in the life of the nation. So it's God. like you know the dignity Wait. of the nation and all of that. Okay, so they don't have power to to for to no legislation, pass legislation. with an elected parliament, which of course is is headed by the prime minister. And I believe there's a whole movement out there trying to get rid of this whole monarchy. Thing. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. No, because apparently it's very. That's like look at that lifestyle. It's expensive. The house is huge. Yeah, yeah. what's it called? Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace. And it's right there in, uh, Brit- London. Is that where it is? <laughs> I'm just thinking they get rid of it and pave it over. <laughs> something else a skate park uh, yeah <laughs> it's like a mall just kids in there doing rail grinds yeah. now <laughs> that's yeah, what a throne that's was right, right. It's yeah. it's all, it's all, kick flip right. Over it. all that stuff's right around each other uh parliament is yeah there. sort of like big ben. is big ben connected to parliament and it's on the same building uh, i don't know i maybe and what's I that know. river called thames the thames yeah. is that where it's, is it right there on the fun, on the bullshit yeah. <laughs> you know what is what does the, the river thames remind you of from childhood uh i don't know Paddington Bear. There, there was a production coming. Hold on, and, and and it was always Solomon a, was watching Paddington Bear. <laughs> I just remember it was I always at the it. end of That's Benny funny. Hill. I think one of those. Oh. Yeah, it was always show the, Benny Hill. How it would show the river, show. and then it would say, Dude. "Of course, I was a kid, so I was like, Thames, oh, cool." Okay. I loved Benny Hill as a kid. It made me. It made parts of my body very happy. It, it, talk, talk about shows that you cannot make today. Benny Hill. All the girls were in short skirts and bending over, and he was like, mm, doing that. Right, right. Then they had his little bald buddy where you go, yeah, they yeah. slap his little bald buddy's head. Remember that but shows isn't you cannot the, make today. Yeah, but has has isn't the, I guess it's the BBC and there's a couple of them, one, two, I don't know. I, again, I don't know about that stuff, but it seems that they're more chill about that kind of thing. Yeah, well, a lot of censors here countries are like when you watch the original Office, they there's they swear in it, and, yep. and like one of the gag gifts to the Jim character, which was Tim, was a big inflatable penis. Like they don't do that here. Like we replaced it in our office with the, with the doll. But right, it's actually a big old inflatable. This was it a cock? Sex, was it a sex doll? No, the ours in the American office it was a sex doll. But in the, right in the original it was a big penis. It was a big cock. Big, big yeah. bollocks as they yeah. call it. Yeah, I love the way they talk. Yeah, when I, one of my favorite people ever is Carl Pilkington. Yeah, dude, he's Carl Pilkington is my favorite, and I love 
how hard Ricky Gervais laughs at the shit he says and does. Mm -hmm. Apparently, P Carl has a new show that has nothing to do with Ricky and his company or anything like that, which is on shit. Cool, cool. By the it's way, called. David, this is this is what you're talking about, right? Yeah, that. Yeah. And oh, I'd be like, like cool, not... Fammies. Yeah. Sweet. Tahamis, dude. All the Fammies shows are on. <laughs> <laughs> is that the London Bridge? That's not the London Bridge, I don't think. Yeah, that is. That is. is it called? Yeah. Isn't it called? I thought that was. Yeah. There's, there's one, one called Tower Bridge. Yeah, well. to the right, right? To the right is Tower. I think that's Tower. Dude, I want to go oh, there so yeah. bad. I want to mm. go to London so bad. For all there. we know, this isn't an actual picture. It's just like a collage of things. For all Ooh, there's a yeah, right. London It's bridge. just like when you see movies about Hollywood and people are in downtown walking. Yeah. And the next thing you know, they're at the beach. <laughs> You're like, man, dude, do you even need to take the bus? <laughs> there's a London Bridge in Arizona, I think. They moved yeah. it. Yeah. And people, when they go to see it, they're picturing that thing. Mm. And I don't think that's it. Because you go see the one in... in, in Arizona, it's just like a normal bridge going across. Right, the old uh, I, yeah, that big Rio one is Grande, not called London Bridge. I don't think that's what uh, it's it, again. I could be wrong. I know there's one called Tower Bridge. Dave, too. there's a whole song. All London right, London Bridge is falling down. Oh my God! Let's let us let us not be too American. Oh my God, Jason, no? you're such a embarrassing <laughs> Yank. Lady. Thank, Thank you. you, embarrassing. That's Yankee. another thing I want to know. What is a lord and a lady like? Um. I was when I was watching the documentary on and on and Randy Andy, they were interviewing a lot of people that hung out in that circle. And there was this one woman that they would interview, beautiful woman, but she was like a like a socialite clubber kind of. But she went by Lady Something Something. Mm. Are, how are is it, are, are these families? Are there bloodlines and blood ties to the royals? Yes, interesting. Because there's dukes and there's earls. So so think there's about, all kinds of titles. Yeah, think about how a monarchy works. I mean. So you have these different families, right? And then as like a family will become like it, Game of Thrones, same thing, right? Never uh, saw it. I've never even heard. Okay, of it. wait. What's Game of Thrones? Wait, what? Are there dragons and nakedness? Okay, so like like <laughs> winter like, came and went. yeah. So like in the Game of Thrones, right? They have the Targaryens and they have these, and, all, oh, and so okay. then someone is chosen to be the monarchy and their oh. family rules or whatever, and then they change. Family. It's the same thing. Oh, <laughs> same. Without so get dragons, it, guys. Without the dragons. Listen, the British. Monarchy is the same as Game of Thrones. See, we've yes. learned. We've learned. Hey, they have the same accent. Right? Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, right. There you go. All I know about Game of Thrones, I never watched it. I know that there's a character named Khaleesi. You never watched it? No. Yeah. It's pretty good. I dug it. First episode looked like a freaking medieval porn. Mm -hmm. A lot of fucking in that first season. Down. Yeah. They, I heard they meddled, mellowed that out. Well, they got the views. They used that to get the views, I guess. Okay. And, and then people got into this. And now they have the spinoffs with the dragons and the things. And my wife and my you kids. You notice how quickly we went from England to dragons? That's where they came from. All dragons are from England. Yeah. We're so dumb. Even America. dragons have accents if you learn to speak dragon. Oh. They're all raw. Hello. I'm going to spit fire. I'm a dragon. <laughs> Did you say roar? Yeah. Roar. <laughs> it's not <like> growl. <laughs> <laughs> He flapped these wings and I can have these wings. <laughs> I spit fire on you. <laughs> oh, I wish I could do that. I spit fire on I can't do it. It's not gonna I don't it. even think I'm doing it right, dude. Yeah, dude, you sound real, very, uh, uh, you know, you sound oh my God. like you're from there. No. But yeah, the Royals I want to go are, though. I want to go to. I wanna, we're we're gonna go. We're definitely gonna yeah, go. Real the Royals are a mystery to me. I still don't understand any of it. I don't understand if they're in charge or of anything other than just being royal. And why is the other one like? Okay, so then all right. So there's that whole thing, and then there's mm -hmm. the other uh, the other prince who's now here. I guess he's a. He's a oh, well, he's yeah. not a prince anymore. He know. lives in Idaho or something, doesn't he? What, what he's that, not a royal. Now what's that whole thing? I don't get that whole thing either. Why are they? They not? pieced out because. Um, they didn't, yeah, they didn't want to. The girl from Suits said there was a lot of racism going on. Yeah, she was also in Horrible Bosses too. Yeah, Suits. The Meghan girls. Markle. Meghan. Mar Meghan. Mar Mar Meghan. Meghan Markle. She um, wasn't happy. Why? Uh, she just didn't. Apparently, never felt like she was accepted into the family. And plus, all. plus, and I guess there was a lot of have to live up to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I guess there was a lot of behind the scenes uh, racism going on with her. Why? Oh, she's ethnic. She's an ethnic gal. Yeah. All right. She's a she's a uh, half black. How is she? Yeah. I just saw her too in horrible. But she's gorgeous. I just oh, saw her in uh, God, horrible yeah. bosses. Too, she's great I in think. suits. Well, I saw her in suits. That's why I saw her too. She's really good. Yeah. At suits. I saw but yeah, they in suits ended up, preview. I didn't. They ended up together, and I'm like, oh man, because she had a pretty successful acting career going, and I always thought, man, what a what a sacrifice because that that's done. You're now a royal. 
and you got to be over there and you got to go to the events and you got to act right and you got to yeah. act a certain way and blah blah blah. Yeah. And apparently that her husband that prince was a, a crazy man and I, like he was a he was living it up during his college days and there was always he was always in the tabloids being at house parties and all look at her cute yeah, she, she looks like a gelfling you guys yeah. remember dark crystal <laughs> yeah yeah she looks yeah. like oh, she's, she would be an elf wouldn't she she's yeah. pretty she's cute she's but a good actress weird too. like looks like some like someone you would like we that's not a good picture of her yeah she would probably hate that that picture is being shown right now yeah but she looks very american like a little freckled. so they're okay so they just said that was my question so that you can just be like i'm a royal but i quit you could quit yeah, you basically give up your rights to the throne and all of that. You give right. up your monthly stipend, you know. So they okay. So there's another question: Who's paying for that? <laughs> all of those guys get monthly stipends and stuff, and they're not you know, even really is, in this charge. Is, this is stuff we could look up. We we we'll look this I don't up. Oh man, I gotta look that up. I gotta figure that out. I'm not feeling that whole royal thing. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're paying for nothing, and and you're paying to look at them live that life, right? You know. And but I guess they do a lot. It's kind of like us paying taxes and all that stuff. Like, oh, uh, I mean, yeah. You look at there was this guy that went nuts um, on his TikTok. Did you guys hear that TikTok? They voted to get rid of TikTok. Yeah, that ain't happening. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't happening. First of all, they have this long grace period where they're allowed to sell it to an American company, and an American company will buy it because that is a money making ass business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's gonna be fine. And you, but what they're gonna be like secret shareholders in the background anyway. Hundred percent. But what the guy was so upset about, and I kind of felt him on this one. Is that what was it? Eighty-five percent of the Congress got together and voted on it. Something like that. They can't get that many of those guys to agree on fucking anything. All right, on Budget, anything. Yeah. But anything. when it came to TikTok, why did they want to get rid of it? I don't fucking know. They think that it's a spy tool for the Asians and for the Chinese and gotcha. yeah. I shouldn't say Asians because there's a lot of different kind of Asians. I don't know if you guys know that. There's a lot of different kind of Asians. <laughs> I educators. saw that. I saw Pelosi. Educators. I saw Pelosi do that tic tac toe thing. She was trying to be clever about the tic tac. She was like tic tac win or whatever she said. <laughs> it looks so weird. Hey, politicians, don't be clever. Just yeah. Do your job. Don't do stand up. Don't do poetry. Uh oh. Dorks. But yeah, this guy was like, you can't get these fuck people in the room to decide on anything. Kids are my kids are afraid to go to school because they're trying to take kids take kids phones away from them. Yeah in the schools and the kids are like yo we need to have this so we can get all of our parents in case somebody comes in here and starts shooting us yep right because they can't get together on that either yeah but for some reason they all got together on the tiktok issue that i don't understand at all yeah. <laughs> also take away tiktok bro what you gonna do for that bro? Yeah. first of all um again like i said i think that they're gonna they're it's gonna be it ain't going nowhere a company's gonna buy it just like the monarchy ain't going nowhere yeah monarchy's not going yeah. anywhere yeah we should have a monarchy here. TikTok is we king. do. It used to be the, called the Kennedys. That's yeah. right. They were the yeah. They called their yeah, whole, the they, called, they called that whole thing Camelot. And, uh, they had weird accents too. You notice nobody talked like the Kennedys except the Kennedys. Yeah. Not one in the world talk like that except for them. No right. one talked right. like that. It's like the Beatles. No one talks like that except the fucking Beatles. I met a lot of British people and they don't. Hello, I don't. It's like what is that? It's Liverpudlian. That, Liverpool. They call it what? They're, it's a Liverpudlian accent. Liverpudlian. <laughs> All your words are so gay. From uh, Liverpool. You're gay. It's not my gay word. It's British. Yours. I'm it's looking England. at <laughs> their words are gay. It's a Pudlian. What is it? A Liverpool. Liverpool. They're from Liverpool. Liverpool. Same place as the Queen Mary. And they have Liverpudlian accents. When you say the Queen Mary, you don't mean the actual Queen no, Mary. No, the means the ship. Boat. Our boat that belongs to Long Beach, California now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's ours. Remember when the Q Queen Mary 2 came? Yeah, that was cool. They, they brought the Queen Mary 2 over here to Long Beach to do a ceremonial thing with the first Queen Mary here. And they were going to pull the boat up next to it. And they were going to honk their horns at the same time. Mm -hmm. But it couldn't get all the way. This ship is, this Queen Mary 2 is so huge that it couldn't get all the way into the harbor to be with the other Queen Mary because it would have scraped the, bottom. the water was too shallow. Yeah. It would have scraped bottom, so it had to be from a distance. We got to see it, remember? Yep, yep. But they did this thing at a certain time. They, they rang their, from what I understand, their horns at the same time. From what I understand, that also part of that was something, I want to say maybe it was a horn or a bell, some kind of thing from, uh, from the original Queen Mary in Long Beach. They transferred it to the new one, and it left oh, with it or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, something that's... like that. Stole the bell. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. There's ours, yeah. Oh, that's the day. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's, that's as, as far as you could get. That's the closest <laughs> it could get because yeah. if it came inside the breakwater, yeah. it would have 
So that's and a, that's a for uh, viewers who are looking at that picture. That dome used to house uh, the uh, spruce, spruce goose. goose. I remember um, Howard Hughes's famous flying coffin, big giant plane that it used to be parked inside there, and now it's a now it's just apartments. Didn't it's it? a cruise ship terminal. No, yeah, it's a cruise ship terminal for uh, I, I was kidding. Carnival cruises. <laughs> you know what it was for a while? It was a soundstage. Yeah, yeah, Gotham I remember that. I remember that. Bath the Batman movie where it was uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jim Carrey. Was shot in there. A bunch of stuff was shot in there. Really? And now it's a terminal for. They soundproof that big old thing. Yeah, it's a big that's old crazy. It's, it was, did dome. you ever go in there when the Queen when the Spruce Goose was in there? I I don't think I actually went. It in. was. I think I saw pictures though when I was. Kind of, it was awe inspiring. It like was it was that amazing. thing was huge. You walked in, and when you walked, it, you you would walk into this lobby thing, and you'd walk around the corner, and there it was. Mm -hmm. And it this thing was so big. I think I remember you and I both when we looked up at it, we got dizzy because we went in there. First time to see it as kids. Yeah. It was so big that when we looked up at it, you got dizzy. You could fit a 747 under each wing. Each tip, each wing tip almost miss, almost hit, you know, reached this. The oh, diameter. you're talking about the spruce goose. Okay. Yeah. The wing yeah. tips, each tip almost was at the diameter of the whole dome. It right. Was wow. So big. And where is the spruce goose now? It is up north. I believe it might be in Seattle. It was taken apart and it was all over the place, but I think somebody else maybe bought the parts and they re. I don't know, but it's, I think it might be up in Seattle somewhere. But apparently, when Howard Hughes flew it the first time, he was like, "I'm never flying that again." Scared yeah. the shit out of him. <laughs> he got it off the water for a total of a couple of minutes or something, and then landed. And he said, "I will never fly this thing again, and nobody else should." The thing is, it was it was, it was a water plane. Pretty neat. Thing <laughs> yeah, it was, it was all yeah. You'd light. walk in there, and it was. And Dave and I got to go down there. Our, our parents fly took us it. down there. We got to fly it. We got to fly it. Yeah. No, our parents took us down there when they brought it into Long Beach. Because that was in the early '80s. Yeah, we, you see, yeah, when they had the whole they, they had the whole side of the dome cut away and they pulled it in. It was pretty neat. We got to see, uh, watch that. Yeah. Pull that bad boy in. I got to see when the space shuttle came down Figueroa. Oh, oh no yeah, way, man! Yeah, that was awesome. I remember I brought, that. I brought my daughter to see it. When was that? That was a big deal. It was. Yeah, it was. And what was cool is as it goes by, everybody's cheering. You know, oh. you see the United States logo on it. It was just really, it was really. And cool. Also, just think it was in space. That's neat. Yeah. Me. Yeah, it was in space. You touch it, and it was like that okay. was up there. You're an idiot, dude. No one's ever been to space. It's a conspiracy, dude. Oh, it was please. never a moon Sorry, landing. Man. Nobody landed on the moon. Nobody's been in space. The Earth is flat. We are in out a simulation. Radiation. Yes, come on. Uh, the other, God. the other one I heard is that you know, space travel can never be real because you can't actually have propulsion in space because it's nothing to push against. So, okay, that just blew my mind a little yeah. bit. <laughs> you're going to you're gonna make my brother's brain hurt. Wait a minute. Because there's no sound in space either, right? Right. That's why when people, when, when scientists look at Star Wars, the, the way the ships explode, yeah. that would never really happen. Well, think about it. Like if you, let's say you just take a ship and you place it in the middle of space, like no, not near any planets, right? And you say, okay, fire your engines and go forward. They're basically saying if you fire the engines because there's nothing to push against, the ship won't move. Well, what's it pushing against here? Gravity. Gravity right. and yeah. air. And, yeah. and the atmosphere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. NATO. Again, like I said, the Earth is flat. Earth's flat, you guys. Have you ever seen one of those maps? It's the scariest thing in the world. The flat Earth map? <sighs> Fuck no. Yeah, it's, it's, what is it? it's, it's, it's scary. Um, I don't like I'm it. A, I'm going to try to find one, but think about it this way. Like, you see the flat Earth. So everything, all the pieces of land that we know are in the middle. And then there's an ice wall around it. And then outside the ice wall are all of these other land masses. And it just, I don't know. Nobody that's knows what about. people believe. No, but that's where like names like Narnia and all these things come from, from these other areas. And there are people that still believe that's a thing. I don't, I don't know. I think some of the map stuff is made up. But yeah, there are people who believe Because I want to meet a, a flat earther and I just want to pick their brain and say, okay, then how do you explain, you know, the curvature? Like, how do you explain any of that stuff? And when you say things like, I've been around the world. What do you mean? What do you What do you think they mean by that? Mm, right. They just went straight. I don't. What? How would that happen? Because I know the flight pattern of when I flew to Dubai. It was very interesting. Because you look at a map, and and we we forget it. A map is flattened out for us to so we can see all of it. Most of us. Don't so when that. when we I do, <laughs> when you look at a map, you automatically. I do. I'm the moron. <laughs> you look. If I'm going to go from California to Dubai, here's the best, the shortest route, the right. straight. That's not how it works. We flew up over Antarctica, over like the top. Under. Is Antarctica. Antarctica. Which one's, what's on the top? What's the North Pole? The North Pole. 
The North Pole? What do you mean? Yeah. What's Antarctica's the down underneath, isn't it? Yeah, I don't yeah. fucking know any of that shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. but what I mean is the snowy part. We, where Santa Claus, where Santa Claus lives. <laughs> We flew over where Santa Claus lived. I was going to say Arctica. You, know. you just flew over the pole. The pole's all well, shit. <laughs> so this one isn't that clear, but take a look at this one. Let's see. Is it going to be scary? Uh, let's you see. So what? You see like the theme park. You see the middle part. That's us. all us. And then there's an ice wall. And think about it. If you go north or south, you're going to hey. run into ice, right? Deathland? Cool. There's a place called Deathland, you guys. Yeah. You see Atlantis at the top. Uh, Deathland. Uh, Mountain Ring. Yeah. Whoa. What does that say? That's and I, so and, weird. Yeah. And I don't know if this is one that somebody made up or whatever. They see Mermaid something or whatever. Island of the Whoa. whatever. But there's a few different kinds of it. But I don't know. It's just known lands. So we are. People, see, that's, that's basically England to me. I don't know anything about it. First of all, this is BS. And here's yeah, why yeah, it's BS. Because yeah. at, in the year 2024, those people would have traveled to discover and they would find that wall and go what's on the other side of this fucking wall yeah no one's gonna go to a wall and go oh well we're done a bunch of white walkers they're gonna go we need to see what's on the other side of that wall so that's yeah. BS. it's it's a globe around maybe there's the world, maybe there's military that stops you when you get there i remember seeing something on 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 uh it was probably youtube but where a guy was talking you know trying to talk to a flat earther and and he, this flat earther, this information, we're getting it out. And he goes, is it getting to everybody around? And he goes, oh, we're going global. <laughs> the flat earther said that. Yeah. That is so funny. Yeah. I thought that was great. Because <laughs> you can circumvent the globe, right? There are pilots who have done it. There are people that have traveled and done that. And now they're saying they're lying and it's a conspiracy and shit. Right. Yeah. Like crazy. if we just start walking in a straight line, we'll end up here again. Is that correct? I guess. Let's I try it. Okay. Actually, I'm, I'm going to put that I on. Think our there listeners. might be some water in between, though. One of okay. Get hey, get a Kodiak, the boat. Cool. Listen, our the listeners, bear. we're challenging you. Circumvent the globe and tell us okay. how. Okay. Do not circumvent. I just remember that old man drowns after taking on <laughs> challenge by unidentical. Jason podcasts. Collings gets canceled. <laughs> he gets encouraged. about as far as Catalina. He's all. This is hard. I'm tired. Yeah, that's just such a weird thing to think. And a lot yeah. of famous people were like famously, was that one point Shaq a flat earther? It was Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. Yeah. Is he still? I don't know. Or I don't even know if he was actually brain. serious or not. Mm -hmm. But, you know. A lot of that, you know, people are just trying to get publicity. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we need more followers. Listen, guys, I believe. Us some publicity. That the earth is flat. Prove mm -hmm. me wrong. Yep. Prove me wrong. And don't send me a painting of the earth from space because I know those are all paintings. Those are not photographs. No. You see the, uh, did you see the video of the, the, the Red Bull guy skydiving from space? No. You know Red Bull does all these yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they jump out. How do you skydive from space? Well, he went up out of the atmosphere, had a space suit on, and then jumped. Oh, but it, out of the atmosphere, there's still gravity. No, it they wasn't. Went as far it wasn't, as you could go. Yeah, it wasn't like oh, okay. where you jump but, in and you got to burn up. It was, but it's also yeah. far enough to go, oh, shit, this place is round. Uh -huh. uh, not round, but a globe. And he's, wow. But, dude, the jump, terrifying. Because you have to stay in control. Apparently, he went into a spin that he had a hard time getting out of. Like, How do you get out of a spin? He did it, and he, and he survived. Some of those Red Bull events are incredible. They, you know, the, 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 the highest this and the farthest. Yeah, yeah. The one I like is a fl flugtog. How do you say it? Where you have to make a, an airplane that you have to make a flying device that Oh. And see who goes the furthest. Oh, you mean no, that, no that contest, goofy contest that a lot of the colleges yeah. do? Those are fun. And they I think Red it. Bull is sponsors that. Yeah. Here, there he is. This is the guy that jumped. Look at this. Roswell, New Mexico. Look at her like, I can't believe he's doing it. Why did I assume she was British? <laughs> Why did you? It's just Because she looked intelligent. It's just this, <laughs> look at this, dude. Look behind him. Look at the curve. People are going to say that's a cat eye lens. Yeah. But yeah, he watched this jump, man. Don't it's, do it. Do it. I mean, these guys are these all guys like, are breathing hard. They're wearing all matching jackets. Oh, look at that. But look above him. It's dark all up right, there. All right, I'm going home now. And bye. Whoa. No, look at that. And at, at, Show the spin. It'll show it. At some look, point during disappeared. that. Those are his cameras. During now, look, that, at, look have, at that. Yeah, that's a globe. During that, you have to feel like you're flying, not really falling. And that's kind of the, the right. fun thing of skydiving, apparently. But look at this. And I think at some point, he loses... He loses control. Look at him hitting the atmosphere. 
Wait, what? Here he goes. There it goes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Oh, they broke the sound barrier. They yep. got. They're breaking. He did. How does that not? That broke his vertical nose, speed right? world record. Mission consulted. Now there goes the spin. He's trying to, trying to control it. But wow. Yeah. Look at the airspeed. Jeez. See how fast he was going? No. Was it where it said mock whatever? Mm hmm. Watch it'll show the dials again. But yeah, was that the guy talking? Is that? Yeah, him? I don't know. He looked like an actor. Look at that. That's. Look, there he goes. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a spin. Oh, there he goes. No yeah. Way. And he's kind of going, oh, no, oh, no, no. Oh, you, should, you really shouldn't have done that. Did the sun go by? Did you see how the yeah. sun was just going by? Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh, man. Yep. No, I thank you. I just wonder why they need so many guys on computers. <laughs> I know. Right? Well, they're all I, in charge I, I, of something. One, no, but look at all the things that Solomon does in here by himself. Oh, yeah. I need, at, I need to put can, a camera on this. Huh? You are at mission control, I've said it baby. before. You look like you could fly the building around from there. Mm. Just the whole building just taking off. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> but, yeah, you're at mission control. I think, you know, one guy's in charge of heart rate if it's oxygen. One guy's checking the airspeed. One guy's checking. It, it's a lot. Yeah. And I, most of I them were just going guy, like this. Yeah. I think one guy is just takes half the keyboard. And one guy takes the other half. Okay, give me, let me do yeah. one. Get, get, put it on me. Go. No. Oh, he'd be like. No. No, you got to look more like. What am I looking? Like, oh, my God. Like this, David. Like doing? this. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Terrifying. I can't believe you fucking did it. <laughs> Face doubles. And then, you know, then there are, of course, the guys who just, their job is to cheer when it's done. You gotcha. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah! I'm, I'm wondering who's the guy that cheered him on to do it. And also, are you sleeping with my wife? Yeah, there's always the guys in the back <laughs> clapping with like headphones half on. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Like they had something to what do. What were they there. doing there? We what did it. Job? Hugging yeah. each other. Yeah. Damn. Anyways, that's my two cents. I want uh, Kate. Say her name again. Middleton. I want her to get better. Well wishes, thoughts, and to, prayers. Yes, for absolutely. sure. As people that can't do anything about it say. Absolutely. Long um, live the monarchy. Long live the monarchy. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but I. Uh, um, yeah, well wishes. Well wishes. Get, get yeah. well soon. Yeah. That's that's a tough. Hey Kate, tough deal. You need anything? You give you give unidentical a call. Yeah, you give us, give a, us a call. We'll help yeah. you. Shout. Give us a shout. And if you need any place to stay, I'm pretty sure Elaine will be okay with you staying in the house. <laughs> she can sleep on the couch. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us here at Unidentical Pod. Once again, I'm Jason Collins. This is David Collins, and as always, super producer Solo Man. Yo, hey. Live here, not live, but here from the uh, podcast place in Long Beach, California. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. Make sure you leave us a five star rating and a review, and it all helps. Also, make sure everything. One stop shop, Unidentical Pod. Go to unidenticalpod.com. And again, if you have anything you want to say, if you have a complaint, somebody be at, bitched at me about the last episode of, uh, with Dylan Mulvaney. Some, mm -hmm. some soft fucking bitch ass dude hit me up all upset. Yo, email that to me. I have an email. What is it? Unidenticalpod at gmail.com. Go there. Complain to me about it. Uh, other than that, or put it in the comments. Yeah. Or put it in the comments. Do that. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. All Bye. Right. Bye. I'm not